to ask you a question. Does everyone need an aquarium heater? No. What if I did tell you that not everyone needed an aquarium heater? That if you didn't need one, yet you still had one, there's a possibility of failure. It's just like anything mechanical or electronic. There is a point of failure. And you don't win if you don't play. So let's talk a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Do you live in a warmer environment, Florida, Texas, or do you have your fish tanks in a controlled environment where the ambient temperature stays around 72, 73 degrees? Let's talk about this a little bit more. Before we get in there to show you the difference between a plastic and an open air, we're looking at the temperature on the floor of about 88.8 plus or minus five, this is with anything. So when I look and I register temperature of the ceiling, can you see that? 98.3, it it's varies all throughout. Let's, let's go closest to the fish room real quick. There's not so much light, but I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So in here, you're looking at 93.5. So we're supposed to keep aquariums in that, right? without coolers. Coming into our, um, our room where we have all of the aquariums, you can see that even the ceiling is slightly cooler, plus or minus five. So the aquariums are probably gonna be somewhere in, in the range of 80 to 85. Bingo, 84.5. Let's get this little action here. Bingo, 88. So this tank is registering plus or minus five at 88. I usually round up, so this aquarium is much too warm. So the things that I would look at is either adding a cooler, uh, working on getting the uh, AC changed so maybe it can pump out more. Uh, but yeah, that aquarium is too warm. Why do I need a heater? It's a pretty crazy temperature. If I go to the other side of the building and I give you the exact temperature, it's going to vary. So this is what happens. We're constantly using something that has been pre-programmed in our mind throughout fish keeping that's supposed to always work. But what if it's working overtime? What if there is the failure? Is it making a noise? Is it not heating or it's heating too much? You can lose a lot of money fast with a failure of a heater. Now there's no right or wrong heater, but there is a right or wrong way to use a heater. So let's kind of talk about that too. Let's say you have an aquarium room or your fish room, so to speak. Just like back here, we've got six tanks running. The ambient temperature in the room is already around 79 to 80 degrees, even with that AC running. So we don't have heaters in any of them except some of the salt tanks from time to time. It's a completely different subject. We're talking about African cichlids. I have not one heater in any one of these tanks and we don't lose fish due to that ever. It's warmer, it stays right in here, and that's the way it is. So don't always think because you heard it that it is the exact way you need to do it. Take good things from everybody and utilize them in your aquarium and you'll find that you'll have a way better aquarium than you ever thought you can achieve just by paying attention to the smaller details. If you are gonna use an aquarium heater, then I highly recommend you use a controller. A controller, especially with multiple heaters, will allow you to get the right temperature in your aquarium without overworking your heater. Take this as a friendly tip. I highly recommend it. I don't recommend a specific heater over another. To me, they typically all kind of are about the same in my opinion. They all fail. They all do what they're supposed to do if kept properly. Remember, maintenance is a huge part in the aquarium hobby along with any other hobby, any hobby. If you're maintenancing the things that you're utilizing, you'll find that prior maintenance prevents piss poor performance. So for instance, the Trophius tank doesn't have a heater on it because I don't need a heater. Why would I risk losing expensive fish with a wonderful aquarium just because I was told at some point in my hobby that I needed to have a heater? Just because they say you need it doesn't necessarily mean you need it. You have to understand your surroundings to understand your necessity for aquarium supplies. So we'll end here. If you're gonna use an aquarium heater, 
make sure you're getting an aquarium heater five watts per gallon. Yes, five watts per gallon. This will make sure that your, your heater is never working more than it ever should. The other thing is, like I said previously, use a controller if you've got more than one. There are places that sell massively large heaters that you're probably going to need if you need a heater. If you're only dropping a couple degrees, is the heater really worth it? As long as it's consistent, you should be okay. Take care of your stuff and when in doubt, throw it out. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, doing the whole thing. Hit the bell, the subscribe button, that's huge. I appreciate it. Watch some playlists and well, let me know, do you use aquarium heater and why? But Jay, do you use an aquarium heater? No, no reason for me to use an aquarium heater. Thank you so much for staying till the end. I guess you thought I forgot. You know what's next. Holla!